Taking NJ Transit is about to be more expensive. The board voted to approve a fare hike, the system's first in nearly a decade. So what does it look like for commuters? Here it is. A one-way ticket from Penn Station to Princeton Junction will go from $16 to 1850 And a round trip from Penn Station to Newark Airport will cost you $36.80. That is up from $32. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has more. When Sarah Valentini moved to New Jersey from Manhattan a few weeks ago, her new commute came with a sticker shock. So I went from like the standard like MTA fare to now the New Jersey Transit, so that alone was an adjustment. And she'll soon be paying even more. Wednesday, the NJ Transit board voted unanimously in favor of a fare hike for its trains and buses. New Jersey residents deserve safe, reliable, efficient, and affordable public transportation. Ticket prices will increase by 15% this year, then rise an additional 3% every year after that. I already thought it was high, so that's definitely unreasonable. No, no one likes paying more for something that you've been used to paying a certain price for. The fare hike is set to start in mid-July, just a few weeks after the $15 congestion pricing toll takes effect in June for drivers entering Manhattan below 60th Street. I think our options are limited, but we do have to get into work. I think especially because people are coming back to the office. It's going to affect everybody. Things go up, they don't go down, except my income, of course. The board argues these hikes are necessary to counteract low ridership since the pandemic and close the agency's $100 million budget gap without cutting service. And I think cutting services really does a disservice to working families. But some commuters and politicians claim their ideas for alternatives were ignored at the board's public comments. It doesn't really matter. It goes through anyway. Even with this fare hike, NJ Transit still faces a $760 million budget gap starting next year. From Penn Station, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.